guys. Beautiful May Day here. I'm just smoking some nice um, St. Bruno. It's an over the counter blend. Smoking it in a Lindale pipe. It's actually a really nice tobacco. It's not overpowering, it's not too strong. It's a very popular one. You've probably read loads and loads of things about it. It's got a sophistication that sort of seems to almost contradict its popularity. It's got a it's got a depth as well. It's Virginia and Kentucky, a blend of both I believe. It's, it's, it cries vintage. Everything about it. The smell when you open the packet is very vintage. Reminds me of the old days. It's very much um, an old smell. Not old rank, not old nasty, but old. Nostalgic. The whole libraries, or courtyards. Old bookshops. It's got the to, fresh tobacco, it's got a smell of, uh, to me, sort of old grapes. Not nasty, but uh, slight fruitiness. The breadiness, too. It was, I believe, I believe, I'm only just going by what I've read, originally made by Ogden's of Liverpool. And I think it's now made in, um, is it Denmark possibly? By McBaron. Comes in a broken flake. It's not quite a shag cut. It's rougher than that. Burns very nicely. I've just given this one a little bit of her time. But yeah. Well worth a try. It's got an under underlying wine, winey sort of taste too. It's good. It doesn't taste artificial though. It's not full of toppings and casings and all that nonsense. It's really good. Something that you can get into, I would think. Only medium. It's not a big ripper like some of your Lakeland twists and plugs and flakes. Well worth a go. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll get on with this. See you soon. Bye.